I fatto destia dan vi famous lomo l c a camera so I did try to sell it on eBay and sadly back in the time they were quite famous but now they just do not sell it was less than 20 euros no bid no watchers even and I did check the prices some people try to sell them at expensive price and fail. Some people try to sell them at low price and fail. It looks like they are not famous anymore and nobody wants them. So as this one is not in perfect condition, why not a tear down? A quick walk around first. It is a regular point and shoot camera. Film winding here, shutter release here, rewind here, also viewfinder with two small red Russian LEDs, of course. The front with your lens, your viewfinder, aperture setting, uh, focus selection, and battery compartment for LR. Uh, for four batteries, I believe. So you have two little LEDs in the viewfinder that will indicate uh, power and uh, correct light, I believe. So it is a little bit sad, but I do not need it anymore. I do not uh, use film cameras anymore. I am actually trying to get rid of my film cameras, but nobody wants them even a, a super low price so this one at least for science will go in parts or maybe it will be useful to somebody else you want to repair one so I will start with this rewind button it is always the same way you remove them in camera. Sometimes you have a screw here on the top, but here you just need to pull, put something here in the fork and turn here and it will unscrew. Revealing one, no, even two little Russian screws. Okay. So I have one main problem with this camera is the light seal here is not good anymore. It is just decaying. Look at this. It is it became really bad. And also it has some random mechanical problems. So it is why I do not keep it. Next part will be to undo, I believe, the front piece here it is just four screws so we will see which kind of Russian electronics we find inside as it is a semi-automatic camera so it, it does time out the shutter according to the light uh, one more screw a little bit messed up so here is the mechanism for the covers over the viewfinder and the lens with not less than eight little slotted screws this part is just plastic and here we have the lens assembly, you can see the focus mechanism here. A little bit of uh, flat flex here, which goes to this uh, board with uh, potentiometers to adjust the light sensitivity, probably. So I am not sure, it looks like, yes. This part can come off directly. 
uh, let me try to unscrew here this yes two little slotted nuts that will come off uh, very easily in fact and a little bit of a plate here two layers even no, this one is a rubber one and we have a flat flex which is actually soldered in here so instead I will undo the two screws I have here it is a one way process because I cannot keep this thing I have too many stuff anyways little bit sad it was once considered like a collector camera but it looks like anyways if I want to find another one it will not be difficult at all so this one was loose by the way so this board should come off not sure how it is going interesting so it looks like it is not the proper way to take it apart excuse me let me grab some precision pliers and try to remove this screw here okay on this board not sure so I will maybe continue then with the uh, I want to remove this so we will remove the top cover for this purpose oops this is exactly what you do not want to happen because now I cannot open the back cover anymore not a big issue I will figure it out later so these screws are really annoying because the slot is super tiny and also not deep at all so it is interesting how they did use uh, uh, Philips screws for the external screws you can see and slotted screws for the other ones here at the back I have two Philips I will unzoom a little bit it will allow not to be too easily out of the frame ok oh, it is not coming because I believe I did yes in fact I did already check one day probably and unglue this uh, layer of uh, fake lever to reveal one screw here still same problem really only my uh, very small screwdriver will work even if it is a way too uh, short according to the size of the screw in ok we are here the few finger piece with what seems to be the board with the two little leads you rewind them uh, knob uh, support here and your frame counter ok and so this must be the shutter button yes going here with a nice uh, bit of uh, brass here in this uh, nothing 
Vexed V uh, Film Sensitivity Adjustment Actually, you can see it is this uh, disc with holes that will cover more or less this uh, photoresistor So very simple design here Ok, here is our shut button Then uh, I will probably uh, need now to remove this viewfinder So as I do not expect to put it back together I can just I hope to find some uh, nice uh, Soviet components to salvage at least You can see it is definitely Soviet made because here you have uh, your dead code on the photo resistor so For some reason here they did use again Philips Cores And here we are, other side is uh, painted or uh, colored in black with a marker it seems And you have your two very little red LEDs Typically Soviet design this one Here is the body of the uh, viewfinder with uh, Nonces, of course, on this kind of uh, slots here to uh, attenuate light or something like this. Incident light, maybe. And now I should be able to undo these three screws. Too big again. Let me try with this one. So these screws are actually uh, threaded into plastic. This thing is mostly made of plastic. So I hope it will release the viewfinder. Yes. Now I can see a circuit board in here. So we will have stuff, hopefully. Okay, here we are. Viewfinder with our little. Uh, Indicator for the focus distance that is mechanically coupled to your uh, adjustment uh, here But in some way But it moves a little uh, needle here as you can see Which is interestingly enough soldered here on a little bracket Ok, now I can maybe remove this PCB here, or at least flip out, out of the way And I should be able to undo this front piece With obviously just the lance assembly If I find correct screwdriver again Off. Oops, really the screws are annoying because the slots are super super tiny. Okay, this is coming off, but not that. So it looks like I need to undo this plastic ring, not sure of the purpose of this. Two tiny screws, super mega tiny screws even. It is a look I have this uh, precision screwdrivers, and you do not you do not want a clip precision screwdrivers. Believe me, they are not good. At least I will save a lot of screws. Okay, and this is coming off. Okay, and this is coming off. 
Nice. So now I can get rid of all these parts. Excuse me. Okay. And try to make some progress. So this will come off. tight at all again ok now I can completely pull this piece and it is a good idea because obviously we have more screws hidden behind so this is a very typical construction of uh, most cameras in fact even reflex cameras you will find main body with your film uh, carrier assembly motors and such and your uh, mirror and shutter assembly will be uh, in a removable kind of piece uh, screwed in the front. Uh, so I, it seems uh, okay. I believe I did understand something. If I undo here the little screw. Try to at least again. This will come off, and if this comes off, this might come off also. It is actually my zoom, uh, my lens assembly, so maybe I can undo here the three little uh, standoffs. Which are uh, <coughs> slotted. It should allow me to remove the whole lens assembly. I did never take apart this camera before, so as you can guess. Maybe I did uh, undo the top cover one day or something like this, but. Really tiny stuff. Okay. This is quite annoying because it is completely in the way. Yes, it should come off and allow me to remove this uh, second piece here. Not sure of, uh, if it is the correct way to take it apart, but at least it will illustrate. Uh, where I am, you are going if you try to do it at home, which I recommend. If you are not frightened to damage the camera, but there is no danger whatsoever because there is no built-in flash capacitor or anything. So. This one is quite tight actually. Really get stuff. Okay, let me try to find something else. This may be. Maybe it will come now. So why this one does not want to cooperate? A little bit at a time. By the way, it seems these parts are... No, I was going to say it is brass, but no, it seems to be just still. Okay, so now the lens is coming off. Oops, completely. And this is brass. So I might keep this part 
to put in a random optical pass grab bag for eBay because this don't do sell not the cameras but uh, grab bags with uh, lenses and mirrors and prism do sell okay your famous Minitar uh, Minitar one lance so this and this go off I can now do the second skin here and with all this I did almost forget about this bottom panel so now I can again undo the back cover like such open it and here is actually your uh, the cover to the mechanism relax and I will undo this bottom cover some contacts here apparently there was provision for some kind of a motor drive it seems because you have two electrical contacts and you have one uh, mechanical coupling here and also you have, of course your screw mount so maybe there was provision too but I do not believe they did uh, ever release one I'm not sure And here is your serial number. 86 is probably the year of manufacture. So I have. Uh, ah, light uh, control issue on my camera. This big uh, black thing does uh, quite a bad work at. Uh, with the camera, you can see, interesting. So this bottom cover, now it is coming off. Okay, just plastic here. And uh, revealing, uh, yes, the two contacts, uh, onto a little PCB, the battery contacts, and the mechanism assembly here for winding the film. I should now be able to remove this back door. Usually it is just a matter of driving a pin out. I will try. Seems it will be... Oh, it will be easier to undo the screws here. If I find the matching screwdriver, they are hidden under the glue. but. Yes, here they are. So I know it is sad to take apart the camera, but I cannot keep everything. This uh, has no value whatsoever. They are very common, in fact. And really easy to find on eBay. I did purchase it new, if I remember correctly, or almost new, and uh, prof, I still have the box. I am using the original box of the camera for the parts of it. <coughs> okay, so this should come off, hopefully. Uh, I will undo this piece while I am here. Okay. Now the latch here for the door is free to move and will be removed with two more screws only. covered with glue because it is more fun mm. Mm. 
loss of small parts ok ok they are not extremely tight but the most difficult is to grab the slot We have here the latch, as you can see. Two little uh, special uh, washers that can be useful. A lot of loose parts. Okay, so uh, where to go now? Uh, this uh, is uh, interesting to remove. It looks like this assembly should come off quite easily. is a winding mechanism again uh, screws going directly into plastic so this thing was uh, not uh, top quality not really badly made but could be better small uh, golden contacts here on this part I will just undo the screw okay this is off, big plastic wheel for your winding button on just uh, the counting disc here, not much to see. Uh, the one-way latch here, a ratchet mechanism. That I could undo, yes. I was not sure if it was left or right, freed screw, but it is a regular one. And uh, looks like this uh, piece is uh, secured in the plastic here with uh, melted parts of plastic. I will undo this thing. Okay. Uh, and the bottom. I would not be bothered with uh, this on this uh, battery contacts, but here I can try to remove this wall uh, drive mechanism, it looks like. And for the last, we will have our shutter and control electronics behind this plate here so uh, I see obviously three screws I need to do this try to at least not sure how it is how it goes so if you want a totally not proper way to take this camera apart, watch my video. Okay, oh, it came off quite easily. Here is the spoon for the film. Well, the axis, the spoon itself is here with your slots to insert your, your film or a little, little teeth here to grab it uh, again one way mechanism here and uh, it is how it will count and stop at the correct point to count one frame and then stop winding all this is coupled to the uh, shutter release obviously Okay, brass uh, parts on the uh, steel or stainless steel parts maybe. Quite nicely made uh, mechanism here. Your uh, film rewind button is here. It will unlock completely this part in one way or another to allow rewind the film. And here your 
mechanical coupling for the supposedly motor drive is one piece of uh, die cast uh, metal with two super tiny screws. Okay. We are down to the front piece now. We have here the photo resistor attached to this uh, plastic bracket, as you can see. Two little wires going to it. Dead code at the back of 1184. And now uh, it looks like, yes, it is time to undo this front piece and reveal the brains well I do not expect a lot but we never know maybe we will have a beautiful Soviet made IC at least I can see some golden contacts here for the um, connected to some of the controls probably of little screws as expected so it should come off at least I do not see any remaining screw okay ah, it was more or less glued in place it's really Excuse me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Here are our electronics. So I have a few wires to cut. In here, oops, nothing left except this uh, plastic piece and some uh, black goop or glue. They did use to secure this piece here. To the plastic uh, main plastic Oops. like this and yes it is some soft material quite weird black soft goop quite nasty actually and you know what it reminds me something do you remember my teardown of the tank night vision periscope there was the same kind of black goop everywhere in here you can see still here some of it so is it the same material no idea but it looks very similar and it is perfectly possible the tank periscope was made by Lomo so here we have nothing left uh, the screw Tripod mount and nothing. Nothing here. So here we have the electronics. The uh, shutter is this part here, and it must be controlled in some way. Yes, I see. So a little bit. So you have your electronics. Very typical miniature here. Red. Soviet resistors, one uh, must be a total arm capacitor. Yeah. Oh. Focus, please. Need to unzoom. Okay, we start again. Uh, miniature Soviet resistors, total arm capacitor, one more potentiometer here to adjust something. And your Soviet ceramic, I see. KM1189 1189XA3, dead code of November 1984. Here, the flat flex going to the overboard with potentiometers. And then we will undo this. Uh, some more mechanical assemblies here to uh, do the actual uh, oh, this is coupled to the um, 
film winding release I believe yes this part here to be connected like so and it will release the the latch to allow winding the film when you after you take the photo so I can undo two or three more little screws that should allow me to undo the PCB to cut sadly okay and here we are back side of the PCB not much to see they did not bother soldering the unused pin on the IC which is good because it will be easier for me to unsolder it I do not plan to keep the complete PCB I will keep the IC or maybe the little uh, tantalum capacitor here and for this purpose either I will use solder, solder wick or I will use hot air to undo it probably hot air will be easier ok here we have uh, uh, golden contacts that will uh, mate uh, here with these pads and actually it is probably uh, for the actuating the flash and the uh, flash and possible motor drive and here we have the small uh, electromagnet that will trigger in one way or another this shutter so let me try to figure it out. Uh, it will release this. So I believe the shutter is unarmed currently. It should rearm in some way. But maybe if it is not complete anymore, it cannot just do it. And the release of the shutter will be time controlled. Oops, here with this um, this electromagnet. Uh, one more layer to undo, and I believe it will be all for this tear down. Uh, one here. Here we have some more uh, contacts. I believe it was the uh, yes, the aperture control. So there is probably a feedback of uh, aperture selection going to the uh, brains to control the uh, time delay of the shutter. This might be, uh, yes, probably, all this is brass. And we'll go in the brass scrap. Or bronze, or maybe just steel. Not sure. Okay, and here we have our shutter assembly. That is behind this little plate that will probably be the last part I undo in this video. After it, I need to clean all of the mess and figure out which hardware to keep and which parts, but not a lot, obviously. Okay, here, are our, here is our shutter assembly. It is at the same time a shutter and aperture control. Little plate like this and one over here. 
this one yes you can move as so okay in the other way like this okay very thin uh, metal here and here we are we are left with just the electromagnet here so there will be a few more screws to retrieve or little pieces but i will do it off camera and uh, try to figure out what to do with the other parts so i hope you did enjoy this uh, one way tear down of uh, lomo where is it lomo lca camera yes sometimes it happens you scrap a camera so thanks for watching bye bye